Thank you. Yeah, 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 she is. Yeah. Uh, no, basically it's my friend that did it, Shape about the So um, I think uh, he, he finished filming this before he shot my uh, my movie, which is coming out in May, uh, Mamba's Diamond. So um, and from what I heard, it was a great project. So I'm just here to see the finished work and all. So yeah, of course it's Shape about the So it's nothing but the best. So we just had to support him, and you know. Um, basically. Um, Good. It was it was uh, during the protest season, more of um, yeah. But yeah, we did a movie. We are still filming though because we are shooting in uh, South Africa and the US as well. What is it? With him? Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, of course, it's tough. Of course, it's very tough. Um, it's very tough. Uh, but of course, you have to. Uh, follow the rules and regulation of the. Um, everybody had their mask on, and um, you know everybody uh, was tested to make sure that we were all safe. And yeah, it was good. Yeah, it's um. Um, when people were saying that 2020 should come and go, 2021, I was, um, it, it was a bit funny because um, the truth of the matter is that it's only going to, sorry to say, get worse, right? Um, all we have to do is to learn to live with the norm. And um, I, I say this to people, I said, if you're praying for all those things, the diseases to go away, the pestilence to go away, then you're indirectly telling Jesus not to come because these are signs of the end time. So... Uh, these things are bound to happen. You just have to be careful on your own and protect yourself. Yeah. Um, I have really been doing researches on it. Uh, my wife is a medical doctor, so uh, I've been getting a whole lot of information on it. The truth of the matter is, with polio and some of the um, um, uh, issues up in the past, uh, such reactions, you know, erupted at of the time because people were not sure what it was. But of course, you don't talk about polio now because of the vaccine. It's a normal thing. So um, I don't think this particular vaccine, I'm not talking about the ones in Africa because the one we are not sure is, of, is the one in Africa because we are getting information that people are saying uh, that they shouldn't, um, that the African vaccine shouldn't be used anywhere else but in Africa, so that is a bit shady. But the ones that have been, they've been taken in the Western world, I think has actually been, you know, um, he's, he's actually been working. And um, no, I don't think it's 66 because they won't come with a vaccine. <laughs> Yeah, the, the speculation was um, try not to go not, not to go in too deep in terms of theory, but uh, the, the speculation before now uh, was that it's supposed to hit Africa heavy. The idea is to depopulate the world and to use some of those Africans as guinea pigs. Uh, but um, fortunately, it didn't turn out the way they expected with the COVID. Uh, of course, you know, Nigeria is yet, yet to hit 1,500 deaths. Yet to hit 1,500 deaths. Whereas uh, that is the number of a country a day, you know. So um, aside from God being on our side, I think also our immune system and the way we are wired. If you remember, uh, then and, uh, a white man can die of malaria. But we, I can have malaria and not even take anything and get better, you know. So these are some of the advantages that we've had. And I mean, God is helping us. Yeah. I mean, whenever you get attacked, you're just getting attacked from someone that wishes you, but it's not you. One, two, um, the same people that say that uh, Jesus the Messiah said, crucify him, crucify him. 
And, and, and three, um, if you really want to attain success, if you really want to be successful, it comes with a package. So uh, what I have been doing on my own part is I try to ignore as many people as possible. But the ones that go the extra mile, like using my name to say what is not true, I go for them legally, um, get the police involved, get them arrested for defamation of character. I've been doing that a lot this period uh, off camera uh, because people need to start learning the importance of uh, respecting people and they know that there are repercussions of such things. We need to uh, start implementing that as well to let people know that you cannot just come out and give false information just for your blogs to go up and um, and not expect the repercussions. So uh, one person as I'm speaking to you is in jail. He's doing his time for defamation of character and there are many more to go. Thank God I have the funds to take care of it. That's the problem. That's the problem. Like with what you said, he's a celebrity, but he's a human being. Majority of the reason of suicide is because of what people say to people in America, especially, right? Majority of the reason why people get depressed, depression, which eventually leads to suicide, is because of what someone said. So you just body shame somebody, or you say somebody, but you don't even know the medical condition of that person. You don't know what the person is going through, and you think you can just talk, say it because you're just one of those thousands of people, you know? And I'm not doing it because I'm a wicked person, but people need to learn to start taking responsibilities. In America, if you do such things and you don't have facts and proof, you can get arrested by that. So I think we should learn that Nigeria have a constitution and we shouldn't behave like animals. Which of, which of them? Because there are many. No, which, there, there was one that said William Suchemba, gay, and all that. So what I said is, first of all, my name is not Suche Williams, because that was the name he used. My name is William Suchemba, and if you think you have any proof of what you're saying, first mention my name and show proof. If not, I'll come heavy on you. And the second one that used, uh, there is something you call uh, um, clickbait. So basically, they use, they write something off, and you click it, and it's something else. And the person, you know, he was using it to grow his YouTube page, and and uh, and he's getting a bit the better medicine of it now. My advice, you know, um, we need to learn to start appreciating people and start loving people, because the truth of the matter is. Um, Anything you disdain, anything you talk against, you can never attain. So if, if you think bashing somebody or hating somebody is going to get you there, you, will not, you remain there. I, even if you check it, the people that have actually been saying such things, check their life, five, six, seven years, they are still where they are. Because any office you, you attack, you cannot attain. So people need to learn to start approaching, especially Nigerians. We are all we got. We are, we've been through so much. We go through so much in different countries. And yet in our country, we don't even like ourselves. So how can we expect a new Nigeria without, ex, without having f faith for Nigerians? So I say this, Nigerians don't only need a new Nigeria. Nigeria need new Nigerians. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations once again.